and now with the human nervous system. We use our five senses to gather or to collect the information from the surrounding and adapt with it. The five senses are considered as a part of nervous system and they work together with the other body systems. In mammals, mammals such as human, elephants, dogs, cats. So in mammals, the nervous system is consists of brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Firstly, with the brain. Brain is the main control organ of the human body. Spinal cord, it's a group of nerves which connected to the brain. It's located inside the big bone. It delivers messages from the brain to all body parts and vice versa. Nerves carry the messages from the brain to all body parts and vice versa through the spinal cord. So again, the human nervous system consists of brain, spinal cord, and nerves. How do information from the senses reach the brain to be processed? The brain is connected to a group of nerves known as spinal cord that pass it through, this, through the peg bone. This spinal cord branches to smaller and smaller nerves that are distributed throughout all parts of the body. Some of these nerves are directly connected to the brain, such as the nerves of eyes and heart. Okay, the sensory organs like eyes, nose, ears, tongue, and skin gather information from the surrounding environment. The nerves that spread across the whole body connect the sensory organ with the brain. They send the information from the sensory organs to the brain in the form of signal or electric balls. Okay, what about the sensory receptors? They are a type of nerves that are connected to the sensory organs and responsible for receiving the information from the surrounding environment. What does this mean? For example, if you smell a yummy pizza, you will receive it through your nose. The nose's nerves send signals to your brain as electrical impulses. After that, the brain makes suitable response, such as determine the type of food. This is about the nervous system in human. What about the nervous system in animals? Nervous system in animals like human. Animals also have nervous system. Where they search for food, they could be a prey for other animals. So their senses or body system and body systems work together for adapting and surviving. For example, the Egyptian jabal. Egyptian jabal is the type of rodents like mice which live in desert. It's a tiny animal with long hand steps like the legs of kangaroo. It has also large ears and small eyes. Let's talk about the structural adaptation of Egyptian jabal. Egyptian jabal has long hand legs to jump for three meters in one shot also has hair in its feet to catch the sand where it hops in zigzag path it helps the jerboa to run away quickly also the jerboa has a large ears to hear their animals like snake even the smallest snakes how do the sensory organs work in jerboa to protect them from danger when snakes approach a jerboa, the sensory receptors in jerboa's ears send a message through the nerves to the brain. The jerboa's brain is going to translate 
and explain the message. Then it responds by alerting the legs to move. By helping of its strong legs, Jerboa starts to hop and run away from the danger in Sidek Pass. You should know that who will above response process of Jerboa running away from danger occur in less than one second. The time taken by the Jerboa to react with danger is known as reaction time. Reaction time it's a time taken by the living organism to react with different stimuli around it. So, pose, heaven, and jumping jerboa avoid the danger by depending on sensory receptors, nerves, and brain. For what? For sensing, deliver information, make a suitable response. Okay, here is the activity to study the time reaction. If your friend stands on a chair holding the stack and the other friend sat on the floor, his hands is near the end of the stack. The first one drops the stack and the other tries to catch it. So can you calculate the retention time taken to catch the stake using the stopwatch. Okay, the conclusion is the eyes see the stack as it falls and then the brain receives signals through the nerves in the form of electric pulse. So the brain translate this information and send them a message to the muscle of the hand in order to the stack. So if you repeat this above experiment, while friends see eyes are closed and depending on his sense of hearing. So from this experiment, you can notice that the boy able to catch the stick faster when he saw it fold. So the brain can process or explain what you see faster than what you hear. The time of reaction varies depending on the type of sense. Okay, sometimes the time of reaction is very important to save our lives. For example, when you're seeing a red traffic light and pressing the pricks, if you hear the fire alarm, so you go outside the place. Filling hot objects and removing your hand quickly away from it. So what happens when you hear to bird sound or bird tripping sound waves? The sensory receptors of ears send a message to the brain. The brain translates the message and then send electric pulse or signals to the body organ would have to do as turning around to look for where is the bird. Okay, what happens if you touch a hot thing? You will withdraw of the hand or pulling away of the hand quickly. And this action is called reflex action. So what the meaning of reflex action? Reflex action is an automatic response of the body. Or a quick message you won't be able to realize them.